Do you want more great content from me? Check out the description box down below. So, following on from the free items I love to list video, today's video will be about free items I dislike listing. So I'll get my phone out, I'll get the notes section uh, on here and we will go through them one by one. So, the things I dislike listing, uh, I've mentioned this before actually, but the one thing I've found time and time again that I really dislike listing, and this is number one, is train sets or racing sets. So what I mean by that is, uh, you know, best example would be maybe Scalectric. Scale, I can't even say it, I can't even say it, but Scalectric, however you say it, I don't even know how you say it. But that would be a very good example. Hornby train sets, anything like that. Thomas the Ta even those little Thomas the Tank Engine train sets, I've had them before, I just don't get on very well with them. I've made profit on them before, I've done well on them before, that's not an issue, but I just do not like listing them. I just really, I don't like photographing them. If they are actually electrical train sets or electrical racing sets, I don't like setting them up to test them. It just involves so much work and I really, I don't like the element of laying it all out, having to get it all out and test it and all. I mean, for some people, it would be a lot of fun. I'm sure there's people watching this video right now who get a lot of fun out of testing them. And I understand that, or I can relate to how you could get a lot of fun from doing that. However, for me personally, it's one of my pet hates. I do not like listing these train sets, uh, especially the electrical ones. The wooden ones are not so bad. I've had the wooden ones in the past. Obviously, it's still a pain to try and set them up and do a nice photo. Of course, you don't have to set them up to do a photo, but I kind of feel obliged to because it, it makes it stand out a little bit more. So, you know, the wooden ones aren't so bad, but the electrical ones certainly I just do not like uh, dealing with in terms of setting up, um, picturing, storing, even even for storage, you know, because if you've got a big box of uh, train set parts or whatever, it can take up quite a bit of storage. So, yeah, I don't particularly like listing them. However, it's important to note there is still great money in them, and uh, by no means am I saying they're the worst thing in the world and nobody should list them. I'm just saying it's just, in my opinion, I don't like listing them. So maybe in the comments down below, if someone absolutely loves listing train sets, pop it down below. What do you love about listing these train sets? Um, so my next one is not going to be much of a surprise to a lot of people. It's something that I battled with for probably a year and a half now of trying to list it, pick it, pick, picking it up, trying to make profit on it, having some success, not having set success in other areas. And that entire niche is clothing. I just don't particularly get on clothing, but I've refined it a little bit down to specifically things that need to be put on a mannequin or that need to be measured and things that, you know, take a bit more work. So I, I specifically don't like listing women's clothing. I've, 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 I've tried that, I tried it last year. There's a video on my channel with a uh, ladies clothing, uh, well, a ladies clothing charity shop haul, uh, my first ever foray into ladies clothing really. And um, it, I, I just, I never really got on with it. I don't know the keywords very well. I tried to learn the keywords a little bit. To be honest, I say that, I mean, I didn't put loads of effort into learning it. Maybe if I put a little bit more effort into learning it over an extended period of time, maybe it would have been a little bit better. Maybe I would have learned it a little bit better. But at the same time, if you're not interested in a field, you're not going to learn it in the best way possible. And you're just not going to have that much success with it because you're not going to want to do it and you're not putting the same passion into it as something that you're really, really interested in. So, um, yeah, specifically maybe women's clothing, ladies' clothing, I just don't particularly enjoy. Things that I have to put on a, on a mannequin, um, even like shirts, I do some of my shirts, like I still sell shirts from time to time, and I do put them on my mannequin, but I don't particularly enjoy the process of putting them on my mannequin, buttoning them all up, making them sure they're straight and putting put my light, lighting in the right areas and stuff. It just seems a lot more disjointed for me 
um, to my regular photo setup. So my regular photo setup, I have my little white board and then I can put all my items on that. My lights are in uh, the two sides here, shining on the board, and I can throw all different items, you know, pottery or board games or, you know, whatever it is, DVDs or whatever, you know, video game bundles. I can throw them all on that area. However, when I do clothing, I have to reposition my lights, I have to put the mannequin, you know, I have to put these things on the mannequin. It just seems a lot of work and a lot of effort, and because it's something I'm not passionate about, I can't get excited about it, and I don't particularly like the process of photographing, listing with my lack of knowledge on keywords and describing the items and even, you know, selling them, I'm not, I, I don't even get that excited when I get a ka from one of them. Um, I don't mind packing, to be honest, that's a, that is a good point to mention. I don't mind packing of the clothing, but most of the other process I really don't particularly like. Picking up, you know, sourcing it, that's fine, you know, because sourcing's fun anyway, but um, yeah, I mean, it's not it's not as fun picking them up as other other things for me, but um, no, I mean, clothing, I, I just, yeah, I don't particularly get on with it. And then the other thing is complicated electronics. Now, I don't mean things like, you know, just a Sony VHS player or, you know, just a certain branded VHS player or DVD player. I'm fine with that. That's cool. But what I don't particularly like listing is very, very complex electronics with loads of different buttons. I've never really even tried this much. I've had a couple of different units that are very complex and I don't know what I'm doing. And, um, you know, if I've got 100 different buttons on and I don't know how to test it and, you know, I, I can't even say the name of the brand. It's that, you know, it's that crazy. Um, I just, I don't, yeah, I don't know enough about it. I don't know how to test it. I don't even know how you plug it in. It might be like a weird style plug or something, I don't know, but if it's like these really complex units, that's what I don't like because I don't have the knowledge, it's very, very hard to test them, very, very, very difficult to describe them if you don't know what you're doing with them, um, so I, yeah, complicated electronics would be another one that I really just would avoid, I, I, I would literally avoid picking them up because even if I knew there was profit in them, because I've made that mistake before, I've picked them up and I've just not done very well on them because I don't know how to test them correctly and then I end up having to sell them as untested or partially tested or, or just power tested and you know, you end up getting a bit less money from them. So yeah, that would be another, another pet hate of mine. For other people, it might be the best thing in the world to list, obviously again, but for me, I just I just can't deal with it. But saying that, it is quite odd because I really do like testing just, you know, standard electronics, you know, VHS players, uh, you know, DVD players that are quite, you know, I'm quite familiar with and that aren't too hard to test. I love pro sensing them. I even don't mind packaging them and sometimes it can be it can be a little bit harder to package because, you know, you've got to make sure that things are in the right place. You've got to make sure that you, you actually remember to put the remote in the package with the unit because that I've suffered that one before. And, you know, you, you have to make sure they are properly packaged and, and make sure that they're not going to get damaged in transit. But, you know, I even don't mind packaging them. I don't mind listing them. I'm quite confident at listing them. But the actual complicated ones that's where I kind of fall down, that's where I uh, have a little bit of fear and I don't particularly like um, dealing with them particularly. So yeah, I'm going to leave it there, that is the three things that I really dislike listing. So again, like last time, what are the three things you dislike listing? If you put a comment down below on the uh, previous video of the things you love listing, then it might be cool to compare or even for me to go into the comments and compare the things that you like, you love listing, compared to the things that you dislike listing. So, yeah, if you want to, please do put the three things down below that you dislike uh, listing the most. So, I'll leave it there, guys. Thank you for joining me, as always, and I will see you in another video. So, see you very soon, guys.